Hey everyone, so I'm starting a new series on Mind Over Magic. This is very similar to Oxygen Not Included, so we'll just jump straight in. Uh, so Relaxed is actually, it's like normal difficulty. With Relentless, you get one less mage to begin with, and it's uh, events happen a lot quicker. It'll also be a little bit of a guide for the first couple of episodes. I'll just share my strategies. So there's been some strange apocalypse. This fog is covering the land, and we've got to uh, clear that away. Uh, we start off with three different races. You can't change them, but you can re-roll their stats and their appearance. So we have uh, the vivified wolfkin and humans. Uh, the vivified have a lot of hit points. Uh, the humans are kind of in between. They tend to have pretty low uh, power. This adds extra damage to all of your attacks. So for the vivified, I really like uh, the spells they start with are also random. I like to get earth. Yeah, you don't always get it, but the earth armor adds 60 armor and taunt 2 to the caster. So this works really well for ones with uh, pretty high hit points. I could try to reroll him to get more power. They also have these uh, medallions. Uh, teaches twice as fast in the classroom. So actually this could be a really good character. And then for the rest, uh, electricity or lightning actually, this helps with your, like based on your wand, it depends on what skills you're good at. So lightning is good for research. It's not too important, I think. But I'll go with lightning and I'll just reroll this guy. Maybe get. Let's go for a uh, fire. Uh, that's not too bad, actually. Sometimes they have like only 80 hit points. So this guy's pretty strong. We'll just go with the, uh, these three. So to start off, this is how we always repel the fog. So we can only do a standard one for now. Uh, for a superior one, I'm just going to pause it. It has a little bit more resources we have to use. And every time we repel the fog, we need more resources and more di different types of resources. And the fog's going to come back slowly every day. And then once we're ready, we'll do the underschool. And that's when we start fighting and training our, our new students. But we'll just go ahead and repel the fog. Uh, this game is really cool. I love the construction aspect to it. And the graphics are great. Yeah, and uh, you always start off with like a disembodied uh, spirit. So Miriam's going to work 24-7. She doesn't sleep, so it's pretty good. I'm just going to double click the trees and click on chop. If you want to change the priority, number five is the highest. But uh, yeah, I'll just do, to begin with, I'm primarily going to go just for the trees and stone. We'll get our uh, house constructed as soon as possible. And then building houses, it's really cool. We're going to have to actually make rooms. So the workshop, just look at this. You get huge bonuses for setting up a room properly. So we have to have uh, just one or more craft in our research stations. It has to be lofted. If you hold shift, it explains more. But with Lofty, it has to be one tile taller, at least, than how wide the room is. So it's it's pretty straightforward for that. But even like the classroom, we, we'll get like a 50% learning rate. So it's uh, you get massive benefits for uh, putting a little bit of extra work there about learning how to make a room. Okay, so we'll go to build. I always... Uh, wait till we get, get some stone, actually. Okay, we're starting to get some stone. You can see the materials up here. I like to pause it when I first build the wall. I think I've got to go at least... I think it's eight. But we'll make kind of like a small room here. I'm not going to do a roof yet. So only the roof will fully stop rain. A floor will prevent some of it. But it'll still drip through and anything it touches, it'll damage things. 
but we'll do the crafting center here. So we'll start with the arcane sanctuary. I like to pause it because you want to put in the doors as soon as possible before they start building the wall. And the doors always go at the end here. I think that's probably way too high, but... Uh, what is it? Let me see here. Yeah, I've got to go at the very top. We'll build the floor. It's going to be a strange looking... I'm gonna, it's really nice. You can just double click and replace things. So actually, I'm going to put the wall here. It's at the end. And even to build over pre uh, or already constructed objects, you can just place the, the design over top of it. It's, it's really awesome the way they've uh, designed all this. It's super user friendly. Lots of quality of life features. And it's only in early access. So it's, uh, it's quite impressive what it is so far. But once this is done, it's all sealed off. We'll get the bath wall. Uh, the other thing I've got to look at is if it's well lit or not. If it's not well lit, start getting void rooms, and they'll drain the mana of your nearby characters. It's not a huge problem, but I definitely don't want them. So yeah, that's huge. Plus 25% research and crafting. Now to get the the lamps or torches, we've got to get. Uh, viscera and things from the dire rats. So I'm just going to prioritize that for now. I I want to get up, get my. Uh, oh, I totally forgot. The first thing you should do actually is build the cots so the ghost doesn't uh, sleep. I'm just going to go and prioritize. Oh, can I double click these? I'm just going to prioritize these. Uh, you have to be careful with their morale. So the the morale is called uh, conviction. Just click on one. And by improving the rooms, having a proper dormitory, uh, the, at least the dormitory will actually increase their conviction. But all the meals are going to decrease it in the beginning until we can start making proper ones. And once their conviction goes to zero, they lose one of their death saves. And then once the death saves are gone, they can actually die. So the morale is super important in this game. So we got that done. That's the first thing you should do is just build the cots. So I'm going to put the... I love how the stairs work in this. It looks so awesome too. So I'll put the stairs there and... I'm just going to pause it and step the wall. So I don't need high... I'm going to step the student area here. I don't need high ceilings or anything, so we'll just go five high, put the door there, and then we'll build a floor out. So there's no structure there, but we'll build one. No support system for that. Let's go to teach in and put the learning stone in right there. Pause it. That door in. So we're all pretty much set for that. I want to have the dormitory finish before we start uh, summoning students. And we've also got to... Uh, so in order to summon a student, we have to have our wand shaper built. And then craft whichever wand we want, like lightning, uh, nature, earth, etc. And then we use the wand to help summon the, the student. And so when I summon the students, there has to be a bed for them. Or they'll get like huge, huge, uh, what do you call it, conviction problems. And I want them to be able to be uh, taught right away. Because when they first come, they can hardly do anything. Like they can go to priorities or, uh, yeah. Like all they can do is like haul or maybe one other thing. So I want them to train, to be trained as soon as possible so they can start helping out a lot more. Okay, let's get those uh, torches built. Just put a three, I might need a four for this room because the high ceilings affect that. I probably only need uh, probably th three for this one. And probably need four. No, 
Okay, so three did that one. Two might complete this room then. I don't have enough uh, ingredients. And this this will be the temporary uh, kitchen. So just put the gruel pot right back here. Okay, how are we doing with resources? I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, we're gonna need these things to build some storage chests. I'm just gonna do a uh, skip ahead until the morning. Okay, it's the morning now. They should get up soon. Yeah, th so it's awesome having this spirit just work non-stop. So as you can see, the fog's getting real close. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to wait until we get enough ingredients for the superior repel fog. Just need uh, wood at this point. We got the gut berries. So just finish off this floor here. Oh, I guess I need some more. Oh, no, I, I can build that now. And then we'll have the wall to back. So, like, the early meals, it's minus 10 convection every time they eat, so it's pretty bad. I'll just have them keep two in stock, and we'll research. Uh, the first thing we'll do is research the meals, which is right here. We'll be able to uh, plant bitter rice, get the plot spill, and then make some bitter gruel. And the bitter gruel is minus 5 conviction, so it's going to be a while in until I can start making proper meals. Uh, we're going to have to, before we can get to the advanced stuff, we're going to have to go and get to the, the underschool unlocked. And once you uh, to win the battles, you get some arcane scrolls out of it and other resources. Because we can do like uh, all the very top stuff we can research. But down here, it's like we need four arcane scrolls. Uh, this one starts off down there. I'll do some entertainment, I think, next. So we'll go to priorities. Uh, the lightning guy is going to be the best for research. We'll have him prioritize that. And then cooking, I guess, Andrew. Uh, they will eat, like, raw food, and it's probably, like, a huge conviction penalty. Yeah, I wish we'll get this, we'll get this area prioritized, and we'll put down some uh, gut berry lots. I think they're almost done that. You can fit in three, and I'll just have like the rice put a gap maybe between them. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, so this room is fully set up. Plus 50% learning rate, so it's it's huge with those bonuses. We just go in, uh, get one more of these. That that should be enough for that room, and I'll put one down here. And yeah, I'll start building that our Tolia stone. Let's go and do the superior fog repel. I mean, it tells you right here how many days you have. We have four days. So it's not too bad. But the further you push it back, the there is like sort of higher tier uh, resources you can get. It's not really necessary for me to do it yet, but we pushed it back real far. So I'm going to need things, like before we start doing the battles, I want to get my healing cots built. That's, we're going to need uh, some iron, which you get from the metal right here. And we'll need the uh, phoenix flowers and these ice flowers. The phoenix are right here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to get some, we're getting some stones, so I'll start building. I'm not sure how high I'm going to go. I'm definitely going to put a roof here. So maybe we'll just start with five. And we'll go down over here. Oops. 
So the roof is really cool. It, it always makes it kind of wonky. And you can adjust like how wonky you want it to be. I'm fine with this. We'll just go and confirm. I should be fine. Uh, instead of uh, moving the cot, I just like... I'd just rather like uh, build them here and then I'll deconstruct those at the once I'm done. I should be able to get in uh, three rows of two. So I'll be able to uh, get three students at least. And over here I'll tell you like there's no wands built, no research selected. So we'll go in and fix that. So what do I want to do? I want to get some entertainment. We'll do that first. And then for the wands we have uh, earth, lightning, and fire. I'm not sure which ones I prefer the most. Let's, let's go for another fire wand. Uh, maybe a water and nature. So I'll grab the nature there and where's the water? And then once the, the wand is built, you can come down here to the student summoner and we, we just select what wand we want, then we can summon them. Okay, we're almost done this room. As soon as we're done it, it should be a full-blown dormitory. Okay, nice. So it's nine luxury plus two and a half conviction to sleepers. So that's going to be great. And we're definitely going to need some more lighting. Because it's such a big room. So that looks good. And yeah, I guess I can just start summoning. We're still working on the wands. We just finished the research. Yeah, I don't know like what's... Oh yeah, I want to get critical care because they're always going to get injured. So I'll start summoning them. So you go to click the wand selection. Whatever's highlighted in red, that's what you have available. We'll go for a fire staff. I think it's that guy who's the good teacher. I think it's Tabitha. Let's look at her medallions. Yeah, with Tabitha, she has provided, she tweets twice as fast in a basic classroom. So she's going to be perfect for the teacher. I'm just going to go for the priority here and we'll have her teaching. So we just summoned Alan. Uh, his stats are pretty good. 10 power, 80 hit points. The, the wolf can always have lower hit points. And then we'll go and summon another one. Uh, what do we summon? I think we summoned a fire. So we'll get... Yeah, fire, water, and then nature. I want them to train as long as possible because they, they start off super weak. And we look at their priorities, they can do basically nothing. But as they uh, practice here, they'll get more, more tasks that they can perform, which will be a huge help. So we're going to have to go and the smoke reads of rebuilding the chest. So we're going to have to start storing this stuff. And I'll need a uh, Phoenix Kiss and the Ice Flower. Yeah, so I think it's going pretty good. I, I love the way the construction is. Oh yeah, I have to do those plots. So we can't, yeah, I'm gonna have to clear this out. I'm gonna harvest that, make it a top priority. Okay, now I can put down the, the plots. Yeah, and that should be good for a bit, I think. Is that lined up? I don't think it is. Yeah, no, I think I think it is. So what do we have? We have uh, fire, water, we'll get one more nature. And they'll be great. We can, for the battles, we can bring in, bring in two teachers and two students. So I'll have a third just in case uh, one of them gets uh, injured. 
They recharge their mana really fast. They just come down here to the mana font. But health takes a long time. See if we can build these beds. Not yet. Oh yeah, iron and more phoenix. I don't know if we have any iron uh, mined yet. We'll go and prioritize that. And then these will put like number four for priority. But this this house should get like absolutely huge. It's gonna be like re really wonky. But over here I'll have to. I'm not sure what I'll put here. But eventually I'll put a roof on, and then we'll just have to kind of build over it. it shouldn't be too hard. Oh yeah, and then for the meal I should put the. Bitter Gruel, I think that's the good one. Yeah, minus five conviction. And we'll do this until we have... I'll just click and drag it to the top. And I guess we have uh, six. So we'll do as many as six for that. I don't know if I've got... Yeah, I still don't have this. We're just going to jump ahead into the morning. Okay, so I have one of these medical beds placed. Should be able to do another one soon. I still don't have the Phoenix Flower. But we'll see if we can just go and unlock this. So Viscera and more Phoenix. So we'll get a bunch of these guys. And there's more Phoenix Flower back here. Yeah, and then we'll just unlock, uh, once you unlock the underworld, you'll start having, like, uh, a poulter guys can show up, and he'll wander around, cause problems, and even on the main level, like, uh, a gremlin can show up and cause problems, you can, or sometimes they'll attack certain rooms, so you'll have to, like, click on the room and then go into battle, or you can click on the poulter guys and start a battle, and you get those arcane scrolls as reward and other resources, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a turn-based combat, but I I think it's all right. Yeah, so it's gonna. You can see when it rains, it's gonna drip a little bit. It, it does help. It's not perfect, but this is fine for now. Let's look at priority. So you can see that the students are starting to learn more things they can do. They can clean and stuff like that. So they're gonna be a huge help over time. Can we do this yet? Yeah, we can unlock that. Let's go ahead and do this right now. This is uh, just the ritual for opening up that area. Okay, everyone's finally showing up. Shouldn't take too long. So it just opens up down here. So the first one is the spine. Let's go ahead and try this. So I definitely want to have uh, Tabitha. The blue is the front line. And I think... So Andrew's a little bit squishy. Does some good damage though. So we'll put... Still take Andrew. Yeah, we'll put him in the front, I guess. And then we'll try out... What, do they ha what is this guy? He has three spells. Well, we'll try with the nature, and we'll try with water, see what that's like. And you can, you can check so that they fill mana before battle. Unfortunately, it doesn't show you uh, what their health is, though. So you gotta be really careful you're not sending in uh, injured students. Okay, here we go. So I think the Belcher, if I can hit him, he, he does uh, an area of attack sometimes. So what we have, Edge Retaliate, 15 to allies in the front row. Let's just go for a Fireball. I think we'll just go for the Lantern Keeper first. Keep it simple. Attacks an enemy, deals plus 10 damage when attacking from the back row. Okay, so he's good back there. Wow. And so this guy has growth. 
So we're gonna, it's two rounds, so I can only attack the first row. Man, this guy's getting his butt kicked. So at least I can cast Earth Armor, add 60 armor and a Taunt 2 to the caster. So I'll just press 1. So at least he's going to taunt them now. And I'm going to do a Fireball and get rid of the Lantern Keeper if we can. There we go. And do Growth. Okay, good. And I'll keep doing the Earth Armory because I want to taunt this guy. Oh, nice. That's an awesome crit. Yeah, you can see it just said armor. It's just knocked out his armor. We'll just smash him now. You can get things like a wind shield and stuff like that, and it all stacks up. So we got two arcane scrolls, some viscera, and some stones. That's great. But now I definitely want to have them just heal up, and we'll try to get second. Yeah, good. We'll get at least two built, uh, two beds built. I'll prioritize that. Yeah, this is going great actually. I'm not too sure how fast this stuff. So this is already. 100% grown, so I, I should prioritize someone just with the farming. So we have a tend skill for planting seeds, fertilizing, and then we also have a harvest. I guess no one is, uh, Tabitha, we're going to leave her just, I guess we'll make uh, teaching critical and, man, no one's really good at harvesting or anything. We'll have him, this is critical for him to cook. We'll have him harvest and tend. I guess we just get a whole bunch of people. I guess we can get the students to do that as well. Uh, unfortunately, no one can actually harvest these yet. But we definitely have to get this bitter rice spilt and then get it cooked up. Okay, so we have a chest smasher wanders the halls. So this is a poltergeist. So these go around emptying the storage. I totally forgot to build the storage. So that's under the storage category. And I like to put the chest, you press R to rotate it. I just put them near the doors. I can squeeze one in there. Oh, you can stack like, I can get at least two there. So that should be enough for now. I'll get that built, and I did prioritize for medical rest. You can give it a little bit of priority if you, priority if you want. And uh, so to fight this guy, we just click on him and click on battle, but he's quite strong. I think it's just going to be us against him, but like for now, he's not, he's not doing too much damage. But we got to make sure that everyone is... Uh, like, is uh, doing really well. Only 38 hit points. Yeah, I'll need some more scrolls for the research as well. So we'll just jump ahead. Like from here, we'll jump ahead to the morning and we'll see if we can fight this guy. Okay, so a gremlin just showed up. Uh, what's, what's nice too is that it tells you like who needs metal caress. If you just hover over and it tells you what their hit points are. So if I do go to battle, I'll know to leave Andrew out of it. But here's a little gremlin that showed up. And what do they do? Uh, grows from clutter, steals items from off the ground. Uh, so he's automatically set to be in hunt. Hunted, so that's good. I'm just going to prioritize that. There are some, like, other creatures that are showing up. Like, there are some birds. Like a large bird that showed up that I hunted. I'm not sure how this works, but like uh, Miriam's grave right there. It's grown 80% and you can harvest it when grown. The grave of a long dead mage, some sort of ancient magic has allowed their ghost to join your staff. 
So I haven't got that far in the game, but it'll be interesting to see what happens with Miriam. Sounds like she'll be really powerful too. But uh, let's see. We'll get someone to deal with uh, the gremlin. Okay, he's dealt with. We gotta get all these chests repaired and things like that. Uh, let's go and fight that poltergeist. If can we fight the poltergeist, or did it take off? Uh, let's just go and explore the fungal cover now. Oh, so Andrew was our staff. He's basically healed, just two hit points lower. We'll go and. Uh, Try doing this uh, battle now. Oh, this is gonna be a really tough battle. Hopefully, no one dies here. Uh, I had to retaliate 15 to ally allies in the targeted row. Guess we'll just uh, try that out. Attacks an enemy and lowers their power and speed by seven. So we'll go and we'll soak this guy. It'd be cool if uh, like the lightning skills will work with soaked. I haven't seen that yet. Adds 10 power to allies in the targeted row for two rounds. Yeah, let's go for that. We'll go for the front row. So that's gonna make their make let them do more damage. Get the earth armor, get that taunt going. I just hit the armor there. Adds 15. That's more ven vengeance. Let's just do the fireball now and try to whittle these guys down. Oh, nice. That was awesome. Lowers their speed by 7. I think I should try soaking. Yes, yeah, so this guy has one more turn, I guess. So two turns being soaked. And we'll add some thorns there. It's uh, two rounds of that. And we'll keep the taunt going. Uh, so this guy should be dead. There we go. Yeah, it would have been awesome to get an air magician to get that extra shield. Uh, so there, he's done. So I guess we'll just pass him from here. There's no more mana and we'll get... That's really good damage. Like, uh, adds 10 power to allies for two rounds. We're gonna go for the surging strength. Okay, what's his hit points like? Uh, 155, so let's just go and do I want that taunt still. Okay, and then... Man, we're not doing too good here. We have to have uh, her flee. What does Smash do? 25 damage? We'll take out this guy. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, sweet. Okay, so we got some um, Hollow Lily Bloom, some, wow, a lot of Sinu, and two more Arcane Scrolls. So that should allow us to get that research done. Uh, we'll get the windows and then we'll get the, the plain bed. So the windows are really good because under the room types, if you look at like the bedrooms, for example, the dormitory down here, you get plus five conviction. So any cot, oh, must not have any cot. Needs to have three or more plain beds or higher. But needs at least one window. So, like a 
a dormitory would be a lot better. Yeah, that was really great. I think I'll end the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next episode.